Hey guys, Jeff with Wisconsin RC Construction. I did that quick little Facebook video just to show you guys um, just the weekender. Um, she's finally home. Uh, it's been a long, long time since I've had it back in the shop. I'm glad it's back. It looks amazing. Um, it was well worth the wait. Omar did an amazing job at the paint. Uh, I'm very thankful for it. He did a killer, killer project. Um, it, it was great. He, he, I gave him just an image of a, something that I wanted done, an idea that I had. Not very small. Well, it was a very small image. He turned it out and he knocked it out of the park for me. So let's flip this around and I'll show you guys what, what I got back. So this is Project Weekender. All right. It was that Bruder, uh, the Sprinter, the Horse Trailer because of the double doors. The other ones, uh, like the UPS truck and everything else, don't have that split door there, so you can't have the top open. That looks like we got some paint left over. But you can't have the top open and the bottom closed. Uh, the back is also a ramp system, not a, a door. So this has a full-on ramp in the back. Sides come up. So I do have a little bit more work. I want to get some interior back there. I also want to get some chain to hold this up at the 90 here. So it'll look like we'll have an extended patio. Um, I'm thinking dollhouse stuff, actually. So I'm probably going to hit up the local Hobby Lobby in their doll section and, and see what they got going on. Uh, this thing started its life as, like I said, that, that brooder. Um, it started out as... Just the plastic model got completely gutted and painted. Um, yeah, like I said, the, the paint job, just phenomenal job. Um, if you can see, here we go inside. I even got some brown leather seats installed in there for you guys. So, like I said, this thing, he did a knockout, knockout job on this. Um, I'll flip this on its side. So, this started its life... Um, with the WPL chassis. There we go. That light's pretty good. Yeah, that looks good there. This started its life as the WPL chassis. Uh, it started out as a B24. Uh, I got the the full frame underneath here. And I have that all cut into the plastic. So it is recessed in there. Um, I did add the upgraded uh, leaf springs. You can see right here. These... Three little metal ones right here are not what you would normally have on there. You would normally have those three plastic ones. They're black. They crack. They break. Um, I couldn't tell you how many times my kids have broken the plastic ones. So on a lot of my vehicles, I upgrade to that the metal set. It does make it a lot stiffer. Um, she does move still a little bit, which is, which is what I want. Um, there is a little bit of updating or a little upkeep I need to do in here. Uh, looks like I got the cab can separate a little bit and that's okay because I do need to do a little bit of cleanup on my electronics um, It looks like a motor wire has broken off that little 370 can which is okay. That stuff's easy to fix uh, I have to up get the lights make sure they're all right um, I am using woohoo. We almost lost it there. But yeah, you can see a good image of that inside right there now um we almost lost the whole thing. That was cool. Uh, the top of it. So we do have uh, the SCX-10 light bar from the old um, Axial SCX-10 crawler. That was going to be on your deadbolt, I believe. Uh, that is actually a pretty decent fit for, for the cab back here. So I'm kind of happy with that. So I have all the lights run back down and through here. And they're just on a on a little switch, um, which is perfect. So I just can turn them on and off. The running lights or my headlights and all that, they're powered up automatically once I apply power to this. There is no mode like the other vehicles, like all the other Rams that I've done, where you can you get the headlights to blink and the, the taillights and the blinkers to blink. This is just a standard. They're on all the time. I just wanted something simple something clean uh they were 
little uh, one one mil LEDs. So I did get some LEDs to recess up into this headlight. Um, and there's three up in there, so it, it actually does pretty well. Um, I will get a, a running light video for this one later. I'll probably post that one up on a... I'll do a Facebook Live again. But yeah, so this is... Like I said, this is the Bruder Sprinter. This is that horse trailer. Oh, you didn't see the back. Yeah, there's that back. So I do have lights all throughout the back. I need to clean up a little bit on the stickers. Maybe I'll peel them off. Maybe I'll paint it. Not really sure yet. Um, I do have the standard WPL tire mount and the tire carrier. So I will be putting um, a V1 hard tire on it, which is what these are. As you can see, these aren't very, very squishy. If I push down on it, they pretty much hold. They're firm. I do order these separately. Uh, I do order a lot of them. So I do have a lot of the extra soft tires because when you order a kit from WPL, they give you soft tires and I trade them all in for hard. Uh, yeah, that, that paint, I, I, I still can't get over the paint, guys. It's just, it's unreal. He did a knockout job. Um, a little side mirror action. We have a little chrome on the mirrors. Uh, this, like I said, this thing turned out amazing. It's, it's exactly what I wanted. That charcoal, I, I just couldn't, couldn't believe how it turned out. I was, I was shocked when I got it last night. Um, I saw little teaser pictures that he gave me a while ago. And I was like, all right, that looks amazing. And you just got a little picture of it. Little little square, you know, of, a, you know, one of the scenes. But nothing like this. So, like I said, the, the Omar did an amazing job. Uh, he is local to the Milwaukee area. Uh, he does have his own Facebook page. I'll have to get that uh, from him. Maybe I'll put a link to his page for my page and see if we can get some stuff going for him if he's looking for more. I know he said he's busy. He's got a lot of stuff uh, painted or a lot of stuff that needs to be painted. And he's got his own stuff to do too. So we'll have to see how much he has room for. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the weekender is home. She'll get updated. She'll get fixed. I got a rear drive shaft to put in. Yeah, that's missing. Um, that broke before I sent it out and I didn't have the bits and the parts to put it in. So that'll be put back in. I do have the little bits and parts to fix the little drive shaft that I had made. Um, clean up some of the stuff in here. Get some stuff glued, finalized, some wire cleaned up. Put a tire on the rear. And I think she's done. Um, at least with the exterior. I am going to, like I said, I want to hit up my Hobby Lobby. I'm going to hit up that dollhouse section. I want to see what I can do on the inside of here. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this as a toy hauler or an actual camper um just not really sure I'm, I'm still boggled by it i don't know if i want to put cabinets back there a little sink fridge or do i keep it for um like the the john deere gator that i have a uh, little toy hauler stuff i know this ramp will not uh, touch the ground anymore since this vehicle is lifted now a little bit higher than what normal is um I got about an inch, about an inch on the ground that's uh, not going to make it. So, it, like I said, I may keep this up as a platform and just put the dollhouse stuff in the back there, put some cabinets, sink, fridge, couch, whatever I can find, make a little sleeping area. Not really sure yet. Like I said, that is the Bruder Sprinter. This was the uh, horse trailer I believe if I remember right yeah I think it started its life as the horse the the horse transport uh, vehicle came with a little horse uh, divider in the center in the back but yeah so that is it uh, like I said I want to thank you guys for joining um, I did get my 3d printer from Amazon we ordered a, a whole nother one um, the last one they, I don't know what happened with it. Never shipped out. They said they lost it. They refunded the money. Whatever. Long story short, I didn't get it. No big deal. They refunded the money. We got another one. Ender 5 Pro um, is in. I started printing a few parts that I needed for the telehandler. So I got a little bit of the bits and pieces. I'm still waiting on 
uh, a couple other stuff to get the telehandler working and going uh, so I can put the rear uh, rear steering part in. I need to get the telescopic motor in up front before I close all that up. So I need to need to get some bits and pieces in a row before I really start sealing this up and being complete. But she does drive. The I do have a beacon light on the top. The lights, running lights do work on it. And yeah, the update for the Mac, the Bruder Mac, uh, I do have some new lights for the top of it, so I will get some construction beacons up there. I did update the remote. The shaker motor is working excellent, um, and I'll do a whole separate video on the Bruder Mac, uh, the dump truck, and I am talking with people about making another one. If not another one, it'll be a heavy haul dump truck. I'm looking at three drive axles in the rear and a powered on one up front. So we'll see how I can pull this off. So until next time, guys, have a great day.